Criticate! <laughs> We're gonna finish up this date. This is a long one. Ah, I was ah. hoping to do like a data session. So this. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Uh, I wish I could help you out, but I'm enjoying brunch with my workout bro right now. Oh. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> if you change your mind. The waitress slides a folded note to Craig and walks away. Craig makes a face as he reluctantly puts it into his pocket. <laughs> we can't take you anywhere, can we? Prep. 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 <laughs> it's a blessing and a curse, isn't it? The next time we hang out should be in the middle of the woods where people can't interrupt us from touching each other. And also maybe in some different woods than the ones where little kids like to vivisect things. <laughs> Craig laughs. Hey. Good vocabulary, bro. <laughs> Remember all our camping road trips back in the day? Joshua Tree, Yellowstone. That was the best. Oh. I'd give anything to do that all over again. Remember that time where we went behind our tent and we... Dude, we should do a camping weekend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh I, I don't know, bro. I'm an adult. I have all these adult responsibilities. Even though neither of us have jobs and no one we <laughs> l- live around has jobs. Well, we've seen him coaching Little League. That's fair. I don't think I can just drop everything to go hang on the woods for a few days, you know? Come on, dude. If we plan things right, we can do this. Craig, don't you ever do anything for yourself? Craig stares what into his coffee What the fuck is that supposed man. to mean? Oh. Of course I do. Yeah? Like what? Oh. Sometimes I, I let myself have one scoop of vanilla ice cream before bed, but only if I didn't meet my caloric intake. For the oh, bed. gross. I hate that. Dude, vanilla ice cream is really good. No, <laughs> it is. I mean, I've lived that. Like being just, just under enough to have one scoop of ice cream for your caloric intake. Oh, that's intake. sad. Yeah, it is. And sometimes I let myself hit the snooze alarm, but only once. Again, <laughs> been there, dude. Dude, you gotta relax sometime, or it's gonna kill you. Please come camping with me. It'd be so fun, bro. Huh? I guess I could get Smashly to take the kids for the weekend. Hmm. I'll, I'll think about it. Hmm. We finish our brunches and head back to the cul-de-sac. Oh. By the way, great job keeping up today. It seems like you're already making a lot of progress. I mean, you're <laughs> real thin now. <laughs> <laughs> ha! I'm probably going to need a little bit of recovery time after this. Tell the girls I said hello. Bro. I will. See ya, protective. Mm. Man, I, <laughs> I when I was in Chicago earlier this week, I walked like fucking twelve miles cumulative. Yeah, yeah, cumulative. cumulative. It fucked me up the next day. Really? Yeah, oh, wow. I miss that actually because I, when I lived in Chicago, I loved just being able to walk like ten miles to get to a place. No, no, I, I'm going to learn to love it. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. Just it fucked me up. Yeah, yeah. You, you get used because to it. I wandered everywhere. <laughs> I mean, we yeah. wandered all around the city. Right. I say goodbye to Craig and step inside. God, I'm ready for a shower, a gallon of water, and a nap. <laughs> God, I'm ready for a golden shower. <laughs> hmm, I bet Amanda's still asleep. Huh. Crack open her door to find her still in bed, sleepily scrolling through her phone. Morning. Afternoon, actually. Mm. <clears throat> right. How was brunch? <laughs> it was good. We got kind of sidetracked because we had to travel into the depths of Maple Bay's dark underbelly to find a toy river dropped, but, you know... I actually feel pretty gr- Hey. My legs give out. <laughs> I find myself on the floor of the hallway. Huh. I'm just gonna hang here for a while. You take your time getting up. We are recording, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I had a freak Always out a fear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> I think these are bullshit. <laughs> oh, yeah, totally. <laughs> they have to be. Marinara. Continue. Yeah. Kickstand champion. I fucking love Kickstand oh. Craig. Well, it's been a long day. I'm just about ready to pack it in. After a few bites of ice cream from the freezer, I turn off all the lights and walk down the hall to my room. I wonder if Amanda's still awake. That kid needs some sleep. I am eternal. I'll never sleep. As I pass her room, <laughs> I can hear a faint sound, but I can't quite make out what it is. Sacrifice. Sacrifice. I get a little closer. <laughs> is she... 
Ma- Klein? Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> I knock gently on the door. Hey, Amanda. The crying immediately stops. Her voice sounds strained. She sniffles. I need to make sure she's okay. I open the door. In the dark, I can see Amanda's outline in the middle of her bed, knees hugged up against her body. Is everything okay? I want to talk about it. Something happened. Did something happen? No! <laughs> something must have happened. Amanda. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Quickly leave her room and shut the door behind me. Once the door closes, I can hear her crying again. Aw, wow. What has her so upset? She what a pussy. Fine. <laughs> she seemed fine earlier. She's usually so open with me. Did I do something wrong? Is she mad at me? I guess if she wasn't before, she definitely is now. I can't even remember the last time she snapped at me like that. I have a hard time falling asleep, but when I finally do, I'm still thinking about Amanda. After a long night of very little sleep, I roll out of bed and make myself a pot of coffee. Amanda should be up for school soon. Maybe she'll be willing to talk about whatever's bothering her. About ten minutes before she's supposed to leave, Amanda comes out of her room and makes a beeline for the freezer. Morning, Amanda. Morning. She drops a frozen waffle into the toaster and slams the freezer door. She won't look at me. Yikes. So, anything big going on at school today? No. Oh, shit. Did we fuck up? Okay. Do you need a ride to school? No. Want some coffee? No. Amanda pulls the toaster level up and takes her still freezer burned waffle out before it's finished cooking. I have to go. Amanda picks up her bag and storms out. Oh. Okay. I haven't seen her act like this in a long time. It's usually short-lived, but it always hurts. Hopefully this blows over and things are back to normal soon. I sit back at the kitchen table and look at a picture of Amanda and I hanging on a wall. In it, I'm teaching her to ride a bike. Her face is a mixture of excitement and pure, unadulterated fear. I remember how determined she was. Every time she would fall off and scrape her knees, she would get up and try it again. Finally, I had to stop her because she was bleeding everywhere. Then she started to cry because she didn't think she needed bandages and wanted to keep trying. By the time she was mushed, (laughs) then I finally stopped her. As I put the bike away, she just stood in the middle of the street and screamed. Then I took her for ice cream and it was like nothing even happened. After giving it a bit of thought, I decide that if I force her to talk about it, I'm only going to make things worse. But I have an idea. I start rummaging around for ingredients. I hear Amanda walk in the door. Instead of heading for the kitchen like she usually does, she makes a beeline to her room. She's clearly trying to avoid me. Hey, pumpkin! Can you come here for a sec? There's a moment of silence. Yeah. I wanted to say sorry about last night. I'm just worried about you, kiddo. I get scared when I know something's wrong, and I get even more scared when I feel like I can't do anything about it. Dad, I... I... So just, whatever it is, and you don't have to tell me if you don't want to, but whatever it is, just know that you have a dad in your corner who wants you to be happy. Mm -hmm. Honey, you know I'm bad with words, so I was hoping I could speak a language we both understand. I pull a cake out of the refrigerator and place it on the table. Hopefully the frosting is set by now. Ta-da! Dad... It took me a really long time because I ran out of red frosting somewhere around sad and had to start over and... This is beautiful. It's strawberry. (laughs) Amanda gives me a big old hug. I grab some plates and forks and serve us up some delicious cake. She goes like a (laughs) murderer. So, it's really stupid. What is? This whole thing... I know I've been really weird lately, and there's just... I don't know how to explain it. I just... I feel like I might have to t- to make you a chart. I'm listening. Do you want me to take notes? Oh. I guess I should start from the top. So, you know how Emma R is going to that fancy art school in California, right? Emma R... The one... No, oh, that I was... Oh, it's safe. Yeah. Uh, I think it's... I think? The best... The other one. Because Emma P is her best friend. Yes. Hmm. I guess you're not technically wrong. Fucking dick. I mean, I think you were right. Right, but... Yeah. You got yeah. it! Wow, proud of you. Ah. Anyway, ever since she got the acceptance letter, I've been feeling like she's drifting away, you know? And she's been spending a lot of time, a lot more time with Grace and Emma P. I just thought it was all in my head for a while, but 
Then I found out from Rosie M that both the Emmas, Grace, and Noah are all going to a party at Mackenzie F's on the same night. They all told me they were going to be busy for studying for the Calc AB final. Yikes. They say I'm too ironic. So another important piece of the information is... Oh, God, this is, this is embarrassing. I, uh, I have a question. No, uh, un, um, that's the thing. What? Whoa. I had no idea. I definitely didn't know that. Okay. You're a bad liar. So are you. I learned from the worst. Oh. Anyway, so the only person I told you, I told about the crush was Emma R, and she promised not to tell anyone. I didn't confront them all about the party thing because I didn't want to start drama, so I just keep quiet and keep going about my business. Amanda sighs. <sighs> I really need to teach and her how to sigh. <laughs> <laughs> and then one day, I invite everyone, everybody out to go get nachos at the mall, and after not texting me back for like two hours, even though none of them ever put their phones down for more than 60 seconds, they'll say they're busy, like, simultaneously. So I tell them, never mind, I'll, I'll just eat nachos at home, right? But we were out in chips, and I, and I really wanted nachos. Totally understandable. Dad. So I go to the mall anyway. I get to the food court, and who do I see there but Grace, Emma P, Emma R, and Noah. All hanging out and eating nachos. What about me? <laughs> what? It gets better. I'm sitting by the escalators watching them, and I realize that Noah has his arm around Emma R, which is kind of weird, right? But then I... But then they kiss. <laughs> She's, like, resisting it. <laughs> <laughs> no! She knows. Yes! I know! So I swim over there, and I'm like... Ah! And Grace drops a nacho on her shirt, because of course she does, and Emma R just, like, glares at me. Grace... Grace, nothing's coming up. I don't know who that is. Grace is the... Did she poop the bed too? <laughs> no, she didn't. Uh, she, she, the she's, boring she's one. the boring one, right? <laughs> oh, because I got to Gossip. I know! Uh. Grace is the one no one really likes. Right, I guess that's me now. But anyway, no one will say anything, and I'm like, just like, you guys suck. Which I realize is not the most eloquent thing to say, but I was very angry, and I realized, really embarrassed, and I just wanted to get out of there. So I left, without nachos, I might add, which only further contributed to this shitty day, and immediately drafted a super long text to the group chat, asking when they, why they've been so weird. And I wrote another one to MR, asking how long the Noah's thing's been going on, and... Sorry, I know that's a lot. You still following? Uh, what did Emma R say? Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Get a load of this. Emma R says, you know what? Just let me read it to you. Amanda pulls her phone and reads word for word an arduously long string of text messages. Mm -hmm. Can you believe that? I cannot believe that. I care so much about Amanda's social life and mental well-being, but man, do I not understand what she's talking about. This is all beyond me, but I am trying my hardest to be supportive. It's actually not that complicated. Yeah, no, it's not complicated <laughs> at all. They were dating in secret for, like, months. So I told her that she's being a really terrible friend, and she's like, well, if you think I'm just so terrible, then just stop being my friend. And I was like, okay. And then she left me on red, and then... And if you want to know... Oh, okay. <laughs> Wait. No, can, can we finish the, the, the day? You want to? Because okay. we're, we're pretty close. Okay. Yeah. Wait, left me on red? What's that? Oh, like, like she saw my message and didn't reply? And, and I know because there are, there are read receipts. I don't know what read receipts are, but I'm just going to nod and pretend I understand. Gotcha. So while all this is happening, I'm talking to Emma P about how mad I am because she's being less, the, at least being kind of reasonable, and I'm venting to her about how pissed I am at everybody and stuff. Uh. And then out of nowhere, Noah texts me and is like, how could you say that about me? And I'm like, say what about you? <laughs> and he tells me that Emma P sent screenshots of everything I told her to the group chat that I got kicked out of. All right. I think you lost me at screenshots, but that definitely sounds bad. Uh. There's so much more, but honestly, it's all just really stupid teenager stuff. The bottom line is that everybody dropped me. Half my grade hates me, and now I have no friends. Amanda, I'm so sorry. I almost expected it from everybody else, but uh. Emma R's been there since Mom died. I, I can't believe she would just stab me in the back like that. I'm not even that mad that she's dating Noah. I'm just upset that she lied about, uh, lied to me about it for so long. Amanda stabs at the remnants of her cake. Okay. 
I take it back. I'm kind of mad that she's dating Noah. Sure. Friend of the show, Noah. (laughs) (laughs) Like, what did I do wrong? Why did everyone just suddenly decide I'm not cool anymore? Why wasn't I? No. And and you're sit down. (laughs) And as bad as I am at everybody, like, I miss them, Dad, you know? (laughs) Man, it looks so dejected. I almost can't take it. What could I possibly say to help? Anyway... I said, this is how short it's how Thanks for listening. to it next week for my hot gossip. <laughs> wow. wow. That was an ironic ending. <laughs> wow. What are you, ironic or wow. something? And then her dad drops her. I know Just it's pretty reading. dumb. It's not dumb. It's kind of dumb. not dumb. <laughs> it, it's kind of dumb, yeah. It's kind of dumb. But though, everything yeah, she does is kind of dumb. No, it's a stupid thing to be upset over. Manda, your feelings are real. Don't ever be mad at yourself for having feelings. I guess. Unless you've been secretly been a robot who's been approximating human feelings this whole time. I'm glad that you get it. I'm just... A cor- Aren't you glad that I can be as ironic as you? <laughs> no, Dad, you don't understand. I'm made by a game designer to try and cash in on as many Tumblr screenshots as possible. It's not trying possible. to cash in, you fucking... It's totally so corporate cynical. trying to create this a, a Tumblr trend, and it worked. It worked, Dad. And if I were a robot, I would have transformed into a monster truck. (laughs) (laughs) But seriously, I know you probably don't want advice, but I feel like it's my duty as a dad to bestow upon you a few nuggets of fatherly wisdom. Well, if it's don't become a corporate monstrosity, I I can't take that, Dad. (laughs) Fucking. (laughs) (laughs) I'm going to save again. High school sucks. High school fucking sucks. Honey, high school sucks. You make friends with people just because they're there. When you're still living in your hometown, there's a pretty small pool of people to choose from. But once you go to college, and once you get out into the real world, you're going to be exposed to all sorts of people, and it's going to be easier to make friends with people who really get you. Some of those friendships can last a lifetime. I mean, look at me and Craig. We boink now. And some of them only last a little while, and that's okay too. You're going to make so many awesome new friends at art school. Ultimately, I think this says way more about their character than it does about yours, because you're amazing, and if they can't see that, well, that's their problem. I'll keep that in mind. I look down at the table. Did we just eat that whole cake? <laughs> yeah, we did just eat that cold cake. Well, good talk. <laughs> Manda gets up to go to her room. Before she closes the door, she, tur- yeah, she turns around. Hey, Pops? Yes? Jesus, man. I, I mean, thank you. Uh. <laughs> Play the Jesus man clip. <laughs> in- instead of me saying Jesus man, just yeah, cut yeah. that in. You are always welcome. Love you, Manda. I love you too, Dad. Aww. She said it. She Aww. fucking said it. That's so cute. All right. That was day well, two. Woo! You Woo! did it. We didn't go that much over. No, it's not that All bad. right, cool. We'll see you guys in the next episode in the yeah, next play yeah. session. I'm going to go get some fucking Arby's. I'm going to show it in my goddamn <laughs> face. really good. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah. See you guys. Hi, everybody. This is Robert Morve from Criticade, and you're watching Disney Channel. Make sure to subscribe. <laughs>